General Motors and the Volkswagen Group have just invested millions of dollars into a battery company in Israel that should be able to increase the energy density of batteries by 30% for really a very small amount of money. Now, this is their technology and how they propose to go about doing this. Clearly, it is considered to be a product that will be able to be mass manufactured. Otherwise, General Motors and Volkswagen would not have been interested. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I'll be at the EV show in Melbourne on the 11th of August. Would love to see you there. I'll put a link in the description for cheap tickets. And there's going to be a lot of good cars there. X-Pung, Zika, uh, BYD, Polestar, yeah, various EVs from different brands. So come along. Anyway, what's going on here in terms of General Motors and the Volkswagen Group. Well, they've actually invested quite a lot of money into what is, in fact, a battery startup called Adionics. Now, this Series B funding round will help Adionics boost its manufacturing capabilities, and it's looking to go into mass production in 2027, so in just under two and a half years' time. Israeli battery tech supplier Adionics raised $40 million from investors, particularly General Motors and Volkswagen, in the aim to commercialize its 3D copper foil product for electric vehicle batteries. So really, Adionics, they're not looking to bring out some revolutionary new battery. They're just saying, we can 3D print a part of the battery, which will increase energy density by 30%. The funding, though, will help Adionics build up its teams around the world and boost its manufacturing capabilities as the company eyes the start of mass scale production in the United States by 2027. Our vision is to integrate our component into every battery in the world. And if we want to achieve that, we'll need to have a global footprint. So they're even saying, you know what, CATL, BYD, LG, Panasonic, guys, if you use this component, a current collector, a 3D current collector, um, it's relatively cheap and will increase energy density by 30%. Now, if this is legit, and to be honest, why the hell would Volkswagen, the group, and General Motors invest in it if it wasn't legit? Then this is utterly game-changing. I can imagine if it, from what I can tell, would increase the cost of a battery pack by about 5%. But a 5% increase in the cost of the battery pack for, an, for a 30% improvement in energy density seems to be just an, a no-brainer. And it's an amazing, an amazing concept, which I really hope it takes off. GM Ventures and Israeli tech venture fund Deep Insight led the funding round and Volkswagen was involved as well through their um, one of their companies, I think Scania, the truck brand. But anyway, the point is they're owned by the Volkswagen Group. So the money is coming from the Volkswagen Group. Adionics makes 3D current collectors which use ultra thin copper foil to boost battery performance and increase EV range by 30%. According to the company, the component can be integrated into any existing battery architecture. What it does, it helps dissipate heat in battery electrodes, which can reduce charging times, improve power and stability. Heat is, of course, the enemy of a battery pack. I mean, yesterday I had my mobile phone. I was in the sauna. My phone, my, my iPhone just turned off. It went dead and said, um, too hot, I'm shutting down. Now, there's no thermal management in one of those, in a phone battery, of course, so that's what happens. In an EV, there's thermal management, but the truth is thermal management is never perfect. It's never ideal. There's really no battery in the world that has perfect thermal management. All batteries do get too hot, especially if you're, you're accelerating lots of times. So what the dissipation of heat achieves is an improvement in power delivery and therefore an improvement in the battery's performance. This product is an example of how the automotive supply chain is really working to come up with solutions that might not necessarily sound amazing, but small solutions like this, even if the 30% improvement is not realized, and even if the charging speed is only increased by five or 10%, even if those numbers are say half of advertised, even if the energy density is only improved by 15% and charging only goes up by say five, a couple of percent, five percent, that's still groundbreaking for what is a relatively small change to a battery pack. Here's the thing. This actual change to a battery sounds incredibly simple. Biton said the drop in nature of Adionics product can help automakers and battery manufacturers quickly and very cheaply integrate it into their existing batteries. 
If you're flexible and can adapt to different types of technologies and be compatible with them, that's an advantage these days, he said. And well, clearly Volkswagen and um, General Motors are saying, yeah, you're right. Apparently this investment will help the company take the next step from R&D to manufacturing the product in terms of a large scale commercial nature. Series B funding round comes after Adionics said in February it would spend 400 million on a three phase manufacturing strategy in America. The first phase is expected to begin production in 2027 with expansions through 2032. And you can see here, they're focusing on targeting the American battery market, North American, not China. The company does aim to produce tens of thousands of tons of copper foil annually, eventually supplying enough for 1 million EVs a year. Now, honestly, if it's as good as it sounds, then 1 million should be maybe just the tip of the iceberg. The investment deepens Adionics ties to General Motors. The companies are very close collaborators giving and sharing feedback. Adionics current collector design shows promise in enabling improved battery performance at a very low cost, said General Motors. Managing Director from GM Ventures, um, his name's Anarvan Kuma. We are eager to support the company's growth and look forward to continuing to explore opportunities to collaborate in the future. Rah, rah. Guys, honestly, 30% improvement in energy density, is that likely? I'd say probably not. But like I said, even a 10% improvement would be groundbreaking. That would mean a significant reduction in the weight of a battery. You could make the battery pack potentially 10% smaller. An improvement in charging, an improvement in heat management. Honestly, all of this sounds truly insane. Now, normally I'd make a video and I'd, I'd end the video by saying, take it with a grain of salt. I mean, commercial production, is it really going to happen? I honestly think it is. And what is awesome about all this is this company is focusing on the United States battery market. That's the battery market that needs the most help. China has, has got everything. China is just out of control. The technology there is amazing. The US is way behind. Now, if the US gets this technology and China doesn't, that would help them to catch up just a little bit. However, I assume this company won't be immune. They'll probably, if CATL comes knocking, if BYD says, yeah, we want to use it, they'll probably supply them as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.